Those who lurk in the shadows, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. That is what the assassins are. Or sometimes there are Toria clones with lightsabers going absolutely nuts. Same difference, really? Yes, the assassins class is a bit muddied with the definition of what an assassin is at times, but it does host some interesting characters such as Jack the Ripper and the Blood Countess Carmilla. But in a quote-unquote proper Holy Grail war, the assassin category is heavily limited, only able to accept servants from a very select group. The Hassan e Sabah, the Old Men of the Mountain. Totaling in 19 leaders of an assassin organization, the word Hassan is so tied to assassins that merely the word alone is enough of a catalyst to summon one of them. Currently, only four have been fully revealed. Hassan of the Cursed Arm, Hassan of 100 Faces, Hassan of Serenity, and the first Hassan. While I do consider all of them to be my favorite assassins from Cursed Arm's loyal nature, to 100 Faces' calm demeanor, and Serenity's tragic love, I have to choose the Great Founder as my favorite among them. Unknown to life and only known by death, the first Hassan's identity is completely unknown. But he has a great many titles. The Great Founder, King Hassan, Gramps, Bone Daddy, just to name a few. He is the man who walked in the valley of the shadow of death, and he became that shadow. His training at the edge of death caused the aspect of death itself to become so ingrained into his very being that the sword he carries has the ability to kill gods. The chance is low, but is there nonetheless. Death reaches all that stand before him. Even concepts will die if he so chooses. Immortal, with a single swipe of his blade, such a word is meaningless. Even without instant killing, the first Hassan is still a mighty foe. Able to fight on par with a knight of the round table, able to block an attack equal to that of Excalibur with his cloak. As he is essentially death. He is cold in distance, as one might expect, but if you were to gain his respect, he is the most loyal of companions. And to contradict his intimidating appearance, he does have a few soft spots that show through in his dialogue with the Hassans that came after him. He scolds and lectures them like a stern father, before asking for their hand. To be fair, I did mean soft in comparison to his appearance. Still, the old man of the mountain is tough but fair, for he is death itself. He does not play favorites, nor does he act without reason. Should the bell toll for thee, then thy time hath ended. <laughs>